We are back with some more college football action here for Thursday, October 20th. Got a great matchup on slate for tonight. So let's jump right in. takes on South Alabama here on Thursday night for Troy come into this game as the 61st overall team in the high Tibet power ranking South Alabama is the 51st overall team both these teams have played well this season Troy enters this one following their win over Texas State South Alabama got the win over Ewell Monroe in their last game and for South Alabama only one loss on the season and it was a one point loss to UCLA and while they may not have been ranked at the time UCLA is proving to be one of the strongest teams in the Pac-12 right now quarterback Carter Bradley has played very very well for the South Alabama team this season passing for over 1600 yards 13 touchdowns on the season for him Lacey and Wayne have been one of the stronger wide receiver duos in the conference both over 500 yards receiving this season a combined eight touchdowns between the two and Webb has also done a really good job in the backfield rushing the ball 472 yards six touchdowns on the season for him um, and all that combined is a big reason why they've just been able to score points and win games games this season putting up 36 points per game offensively for the South Alabama team Troy on the other hand hasn't been a terrible team either Gunnar Watson has been their lead guy at the quarterback position but he is doubtful um, to play here in this one Jared Doge will probably get the start at quarterback um, in his absence and from what we've seen of him he hasn't been a terrible quarterback this season um, but certainly not as good as what Watson has done Tez Johnson at the receiver position has been fairly strong though 479 yards receiving three touchdowns DK Blink um, at running back is also strong with 386 yards but overall I have some concerns with this offense they certainly aren't bad but only averaging 24.3 points per game they're starting quarterback going out um, I think this could be a tough tough opponent not to mention defensively they aren't bad by any means allowing 340.7 yards per game um, is by no means a bad stat line South Alabama does have a slight edge ever so slightly not by much um, only giving up 324.3 yards per game but for this South South Alabama team I have just been so so impressed with what they have done this season I mean they are you know a, a one point loss to UCLA away from being undefeated going into this game they have really played well this entire season at home in this matchup going up against a backup quarterback on a short week I think South Alabama is just at a huge advantage in this game I'm taking them minus three here against Troy now that'll do it for Thursday's college football show. If you want to see more sports betting action for everything going on this week, head over to hot2best.com and take a look at the computer model picks up on the website. Got college football and the NFL being posted every single day. We got games. Of course, the MLB playoffs going on. Horse racing picks up on the website every single day. The NHL and NBA seasons are getting going here. Got a UFC pay-per-view this weekend. All sorts of stuff to bet on over on the website. So make sure you take a look at all of that. Also, follow the Hot Tip Bets main account at Hot Tip Bets on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Facebook so you don't miss out on anything that's being posted over there follow my personal account at Hot Tibets Chris on Betstamp Instagram TikTok Twitter so you don't miss out on any of the content that I'm putting out and if you're following on Betstamp you can get a notification every single time that I place a bet and last but definitely not least for watching here on YouTube hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content and most importantly drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on here for Thursday's card thanks for watching today's show I will see you guys soon.